Gamers on Games is sponsored in part by... I'm Lynn from Metalhead Minis. Great to meet you. Uh, be sure to check us out online at metalheadminis.com. You can find out more about our services, such as miniature painting. We also do consignment. We also teach at local game stores. Be sure to check us out at metalheadminis.com. Thanks for having me. Hi, this is Dennis with 3D Game Gear. We are gamers with a family-run business that specialize in 3D printed accessories for board games. We offer a wide range of items, including tokens, token cups, token boxes, player dashboards, and much more. We are always adding new items to enhance your gaming experience, so come check us out at the address below. And by viewers like you. All right, we are back at Nova Games. We are doing Dust 1947. It is Rich and I again. We are squaring off. He's playing Axis, and I am playing the Allies. This is my all-vehicle list. We're going to see how this works out. All right, so what are you fielding? Okay, I'm fielding uh, Luther. I am feeling, fielding Frank von Stein with the uh, Zombie uh, Suicide Squad. I got Totenmeister with... Two squads of the uh, zom uh, zombie with the power fist. I have the desert fox. I have Angela, which I actually forgot to put her on the board. Uh, Heinrich Tropico and the laser grenadier command squad. Oh man, you got a lot. You just, you're just fielding a whole lot of stuff here. Where's Totenmeister? He is. No, he's oh, there, the wrong oh, he's fixing the wrong way. No, okay, there he is. There's Totenmeister. He's not unpainted. So, all right, that is his squad. My side is. I've got two pounders, one hot dog, uh, a bulldog, and uh, a wildfire. And I have one uh, hero pilot, which is going to be Gregory and Izzy. That'll allow me to uh, get expert on all my weapons, and should they have to be fielded, because I don't actually have the model, uh, I'm going to have uh, Priest be a substitute. All right, so this is set up. We're basically just doing a, a test of killing each other and seeing how this works out. Very simple board, just really long board. All right, uh, we'll be back after uh, the end of round one. All right, end of round one. Uh, all the allies have moved up. Nothing really significant happened on my side. All his units moved up. However, uh, his Luther right here actually did take a shot at my pounder over here and missed. So, but he would have gotten a cover save. So, at least I had that going for me. And we are on to round two. All right, we are at the end of round two. Units have moved up, if you notice. One is on the side. That's because I shot it. So, uh, what is that? That's uh, Heinrich, Heinrich Tropical? Tropical? yeah. Heinrich Tropical bought it from one shot from the, uh, the pounder, and uh, the rest of my guys just kind of moved up. So, it's been a lot of, you know, one roll, one hit kind of, kind of shooting. And uh, I just happened to coincidentally get first blood, so that worked out. And my get moving you bunch of monkeys skill has not come into play uh, once yeah. yet. Well, it didn't work for me this round either. Yeah, <laughs> so. Next round should be bloody. Ne next round is going to be whoever wins initiative is going to do a lot of damage. And the problem is, is also you're going to do a lot more damage because you have a lot more guys to activate. So once I, I'm done, that's it. I'm out of, I'm out of guys. True. Yeah, it's going to be, this is going to be a mess. All right, on to round three. All right, end of round three, and we have Carnage aplenty. Plus, we realized that there was another error. Uh, Rich put uh, the Desert Fox, Rommel, in with the Laser Grenadier Squad, and you can't do that because he's a one and there are two. So <clears throat> we, took a, we took a moment to modify that. 
Uh, so I'm sure there's a bunch of people in the comment section being like, you can't put them together. Yep, we realized there was a mistake. Uh, we also realized that he also put the Grenadier squad in as a suicide squad, and that was also an error. So that was also corrected. Rich has to do better at putting the right cards with the right units. Okay, so as you can see, Pounder, dead. Only one zombie dead because he resurrected these guys after I pummeled them, and then he goes, Oh, yeah, by the way, Totenmeister, resurrect. Uh, was this Luther? Yeah, it was a Luther. Luther! He took a, he took a cannon in the face, and that didn't end well. Uh, the Heinrich bit it. This squad really got wailed on. They got hit by, uh... Oh, no, actually, wait, the, the Bulldog was actually the one that took out the Luther, wasn't it? I think yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I went, I went full hog on that and wiped it out. Uh, the Pounder over here did, did some serious damage, laying down some serious fire. Oh, I'm sorry. Not Pounder. Hot Dog. That was the Hot Dog. And this guy over here did pretty much jack all. <laughs> He's my anti-infantry, and he's not doing his anti-infantry job. But, as you can see, we're, I'm in dire straits. I've literally got three units left. I've taken a little bit of damage. And he still has one, two, three, four, five, and six. And not much in each one. Not much in each one, but yeah. you still got enough that you can start doing some, you can do some damage. If I can get to you. If you can get to me. So we're going into round four, and we're going to roll for initiative. We'll see how this turns out. All right, so end of round four, uh, <laughs> the fox has retreated. He also took a little bit of damage. Grenadier squad is completely gone. Angela bit it hard. Uh, a couple more uh, zombies are down. We, again, still the pounders there. We got uh, the uh, uh, Luther here. Again, more with the uh, more of the Grenadiers are gone. Everybody but Totenmeister is gone, which means I need to make initiative, or else he's going to try and resurrect. I know that's coming. Oh, he's still got he's got he's under suppression, so it doesn't mean he made it. Oh, yeah, he's got to roll for his for his actions because uh, that flamethrower that flamethrower hurt you bad. Uh, so hot dog actually did some some good light up here, and then uh, the bulldog also got in got into the fray. The wildfire in the back did not do as much as I had hoped. Managed to put a few damage on Totenmeister, but didn't finish him off the way I thought. Twelve dice, you know, with sustained fire would. But we'll see what happens from here. All right, so this is end of round five. Five, right? Five. 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 Yep. <laughs> All right, end of round five, and we're going to actually have it as a concession towards the allies. Uh, all he had left was uh, this pair of uh, zombies after I just just aimed and slaughtered the uh, the remaining zombies. And then we had uh, uh, the Desert Fox all the way back here. Who couldn't do anything. Has, yeah, he just said couldn't do anything. But uh, Bulldog really, really pulls through. He's uh, that uh, rapid fire phaser is insanely devastating against infantry. Eleven dice, pretty heavy. Also combined with the uh, twelve dice coming out of the wildfire. For hoo -hahs, we just kind of, you know, he was like, "Oh, I'm going to concede because I don't have anything left that can really hurt you." And uh, I was like, "You know what? Let's just move up the uh, the zombies. Figure out if we can take a shot." Because he just wanted to eliminate all my units. He just no, I just kind of wanted to see if the how how the reactive the advanced reactive fire of the wildfire works, and it works well. I mean, you get twelve dice. Um, if you roll both actions on on the reactive uh, fire, you can do sustained, and it just it goes from there. So, yeah, he's a uh, reactive fire on the uh, wildfire is actually it's worth the points. So all vehicles, even with this heavy terrain, kind of worked out. Uh, but the initial clash, as you guys saw, was pretty heavy on my side. I took a lot of losses, um, and even the, uh, the the hot dogs took two damage by the end. So you took two losses. You only lost two units. Yeah, but I mean, relatively speaking, like I mean, I took the I took them early. Yeah, true. Yeah, so I, I, I initially oh, we traded one for one basically in the beginning. Yeah, and then I guess just sheer volume of fire because of, of you know each vehicle is just yeah. It's basically the equivalent of several squads. Right. 
and it just it adds up. So it's the case of I remember I was saying like I got 29 hit points and all that, but I got the firepower of like several squads yeah. per unit. But I also noticed navigating uh, the bulldog around as a larger vehicle became kind of a hassle, especially around all the wrecked uh, vehicles. So that became like you know I have to take a long way around through the bottom here. So yeah, that became an issue. All right, so overall, uh, pretty good. I might run this again. I don't know, but it's definitely a list to keep in my back pocket. If I go up to a full hundred points, because this is only seventy-five, um, definitely filling in with some infantry just for support. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Just a reminder that everything you see here on Gamers on Games is made possible by patrons like you. Why not check out our Patreon page? It would really help us out.